level or face off the shell as much as possible, uh, making it as small as possible, but not so small that we can't put the parts together uh, out on the production floor. He's also going to add the faceplate assembly to the order and determine where the push button and VC, if that's what's on the order, are going to go on the faceplate assembly. When he or she is done, it comes out here to the production line. On the front of the production line, they're going to add the push button and the VC to the faceplate assembly and solder the uh, wires or the leads from those components to the hybrid. And then it'll come around the corner to the casing stage. And the casings are going to put the components in the shell. And they're going to make sure that it's, when they're finished, it's working and not feeding back. And that came out. And so after casing, it's going to look like number two right here. And then it comes around the corner to trim and buff. He or she is going to cut the base plate off and then grind or bevel the base plate to follow the contour of the shell. If it's a mic in the helix, like this one, uh, after trim and buff, he's going to send it back to the case or they're going to determine uh, where the hole goes through the shell of the base plate. They'll take the base plate back off, solder the wire leads onto the hybrid, and then recase it, then send it back to trim and buff. Because he's already done most of the work the first time, He's just going to have to uh, clean up or shine the uh, seam between the base plate and the shell. After trim and buff, it's going to go around the corner to finishing. At finishing, she's going to add wax protection for the receiver, uh, microphone protection. Uh, if there's a removal cord on the order, she's going to add that or removal handle or post. She's also going to perform a listening check, making sure the hearing aid doesn't feed back. When she's done with it, she'll give it to final test. At final test, he's going to perform an electrical acoustical test, making sure the hearing aid is performing up to specifications. After final test, it goes to restore, uh, and at restore, we're going to connect the hearing aid to the fitting software, uh, making sure that we can read the serial number that's been uh, printed on the hearing aid, uh, and that everything is working. After we're done with the hearing aid, we'll send it over across the floor to where those green lights are. That's the shipping area. They'll pack it up uh, and invoice it and send it on to you via FedEx. Yes, sir.